Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Last time we just continued the hike to Mirror Peak to uh, meet the kidnapper. So that's what we're just going to keep on doing. We're going to keep on chugging along. Uh, I think I mentioned before, this is this is a fucking hike. This is an absolute fucking hike. Okay. Yep. Usually when things just kind of jump up like that, that's usually a sign that they're poltergeist. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> Excuse me about that cough. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to wait for my health to regenerate because that is ridiculous. That card has absolutely fucked my life. Another manuscript page. I think I'm actually doing a decent job of finding these. I think I'm finding some that I actually didn't even grab, like, on my very first playthrough. I, I That's probably just because of the fact that uh, a lot, of, like, my first playthrough, I just ignored half of them. But, you know, what else? Cross the ghost town. I believe this... This is not the train yet, no. I know there's a train somewhere here. I know there's a train poltergeist optional boss fight that you can do. It's somewhere here, I know for a fact, because I have the achievement for doing it. I want to say it's in this episode somewhere. Is that it? There's no way that's it. Nope, that's not it. Now, what's actually a, a kind of cool thing that you can do a lot sometimes is you can actually make the poltergeist items actually destroy themselves. You can make them, like, go off of cliffs and they'll actually automatically get destroyed, which is really, really cool. Ow. I believe just touching them, even when they're not being launched at you, still kills, uh, hurts you, so beware of that. <laughs> We just want to get across there as fast as possible, because something might happen, I'm not sure, but, you know, whatever. We're still just chugging along. This is actually one of my least favorite parts of this game, is, like, this specific, like, um, this specific thing, like this. Like, because it's just, honestly, it's so annoying. I believe this is the train. Yep. Now, look. See, orange, that's how you know that it's the boss fight. This is actually completely optional. You do not have to do any of this. You can... You can now see, yes, the, the flashbangs will kill them out, right? You do not have to do any of this. This is all optional. You can walk right past this, but... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You can walk right past this, but, I mean, why would you? I think that's an achievement. I thought there was a lot more to that. I mean, I guess not really, because that is two orange pieces. That's still a lot. But I'm, I'm relatively sure that you actually get a... Uh, oh, we get some keys. Oh. I'm relatively certain that you get an achievement um, for that. Pick up some batteries. riding is a struggle. The struggle is real. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself. His girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence. About growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Oh, 
hunting rifle ammo. Oh, shotgun or hunting rifle. Pump action shot. We we want the hunting rifle. We want that hunting rifle. Here's why. Only has five shots. Ridiculously more damage than the shotgun at any range. You want that hunting rifle. That's nice. Continuing on. So, uh, as you can see by that thing, I think all, like, a lot of the pieces are actually starting to come together in terms of just what the hell is going on. We're still, like, nowhere near the act. Excuse me, we're still nowhere near the actual end of the game. Me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Oh, excuse me about that. But, um, we're still, like, nowhere near the end of this game, but I believe we're starting to put together the pieces. Of just what the fuck's going on? Birds. birds, the birds. Decent movie. I think they come and attack you at some point. Maybe they wait for you to cross the bridge so they can actually seem scary. Run, Alan! There we go. Yeah, nothing scary is gonna happen down here. Nothing shouldn't happen down here at all. Oh man. Tunnels. What does that say? Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. This is a silver mine. Well, we're not supposed to go this way. We're. Oh, we might. I'm not sure. We're going this way, anyways. That's not good. Uh, indeed you do. Oh, that's definitely not the way out. We can pick up a manuscript page. Is, that really, is this really all that was for, was a manuscript page? Because we definitely cannot go through there. That's, in a literal sense, liquid darkness. Okay. I think this was just for a manuscript page. And for that little scene there. So we're going to continue out to the, uh, the actual exit. I'm still happy I went that way. That's a cool little thing to see that I don't think happens if you go it any other way. It might. I'm not sure. Come on. Your wife is in danger. Run faster. Where do I go now? I have to go up there? Looks like it. Okay. Oh my god, this game. It's like, you would imagine something happened down there, whether a, a, a jump scare or an enemy or just something, but no, it just kind of gets you with this foreboding atmosphere more than anything. That's one of the reasons why I like this game is because it doesn't really use those little, like, cheap bullshit scares as much as it does, like, actual legitimate kind of scary things, and... <laughs> We're gonna chuck a flashbang. Boom!
Yeah, now see, look. In this little kind of closed off area, these enemies are deadly. Because they attack multiple times, and they just, they don't stop. The, this game, you do not have any invincibility frames. The, you have nothing. If you get hit enough times in a row, you will die. You don't have invincibility frames. You do not have anything. Some may call it bullshit, but I don't really think there's enough enemies in this game to really have that be an issue. And when there are, a lot of the times it was just because you walked like into a corner or something like that. I'd have to make my way up uh, this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Indeed it can. You know what? I don't even remember this part. Like, I do not remember having to go through mine. I remember the way to Mirror Peak being a, a stupid piece of shit like this. I do remember that, indeed. I do not remember this, like, specifically, this specific part. I don't want to stop my recording session until I actually get to Mirror Peak, though, just because of the fact that I don't want to stop just because if I, I feel like if I stop I'm going to like lose this momentum and stuff and it's not going to be good no we have to bring it down to our level but then where, where do we put it once it Oh, I, I think I see. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. I was saying, like, what the hell do I have to do with this damn thing? That makes a little more sense now, though. Now we have to do that. <clears throat> Thought that was a ladder. Um. Okay, game. Oh, here's a ladder. Uh, I put on the wrong thing again, you motherfucker. God damn it, okay. Yeah, see, that that's one of the things about this game is it has a lot of these kind of, like, cheap puzzles that a lot of the times you, like, you can't even tell are, like, puzzles. I don't know. I feel like if they focused a little bit more on, um, action, like, a, a, like the combat system being a little crisper, just a little better, and a little bit less puzzle solving, I think this game would be perfect. It, it's near perfect. I absolutely love this game. I think that some of the puzzles are, in in a sense, kind of un, unnecessary in in a way. I feel like some of the puzzles, it's, it's in some cases, are slightly um, unnecessary just because of how... I don't know. Just I feel like some of them are just a little bit un, unnecessary because... Ow, okay, I uh, just it right there. I dropped audio for a quick second right there. Uh, I apologize for that. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. I just, I randomly just dropped audio right there. I kind of freaked out for a quick second because we're nearing the end of this part. Whenever we get to the next checkpoint, that's going to be the end of this part. And I cut out audio, and this whole recording session is going so good anymore. To, and like that, checkpoint reached. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to pause it. So, uh, next time we will continue on our way to Mirror Peak. I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff left, but we've been doing this for quite a few parts now. So I'm hoping we're nearing the end of it so we can get a little bit more done. But, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, until next time. Uh, bye.